Hater block. Yeah. Hater blockers. Hate the block. Hate the blockers. Hate the blockers. Hate the blockers. And for you lames, they got star cash shades. Yeah. Hate the block. I got my hater blockers on. You got your hater blockers on. I got my hater blockers on. She got a hater blockers on. I got my hater blockers on. He got his hater blockers on. You got your hater blockers on. Hell yeah, mine's on. I got my hater blockers on. It's Brent, <clears throat> and uh, I apologize for one not making a video last week. Uh, I had absolutely nothing to add on the life insurance topic. I know nothing about life insurance at all um, when it comes to changing your gender and all that, um, uh, and the policies once you've transitioned. Um, and I apologize for this being late. Yesterday, um, I guess Saturday should have been my day because uh, I'm just, I don't know, having issues with making it on time for Fridays. Uh, but anyway, the topic is um, is hatred in the, in the community, bigotry in the community and all that, um, and I guess bigotry in general. Um, wanted uh, comments on hatred and haters in the community or the outside attacking in have we experienced it online or in the real world and how did we handle it um it's really been a long time since i dealt with that um i have not had any haters comment on my channel i'm gonna knock on some wood right there um but i've been on youtube for over a year now um yeah over a year uh Yesterday was 17 months for me on testosterone, and I've been making videos since about two weeks. Um, so I haven't had any rude comments, um, which is actually funny because I've had rude comments on my other channel where I just make videos. Um, in that case, I, I just I don't respond. Um, I don't give haters fuel. Uh, that's what keeps them going. Um, is Steffi's comment was hysterical that she wrote back. I thought that was really funny and, um, you know, a really good way to put it, you know, kill them with kindness. It really works uh, because people expect you to get defensive and they expect you to react. That's why they do and say the things they do and say most of the time. And uh, when you don't or you give them a reaction they, they don't expect, you're nice about it, they don't, you know, what can they say? And you've kind of had the last word. Um... Because they, most of the time they can't really talk back to that and you just kind of, you know, you put it out. So, um, there has been some hatred in the community. I know, um, the whole dirt thing going on, uh, if you're familiar, she is a butch lesbian from my, uh, from my understanding who's a very into feminist views and all that and has a lot of issues with trans men. Um, I've never looked at her blog. I don't really watch her videos. I've heard bits and pieces. I've watched all the other videos guys have made about her. Um, I know it's stirring up a huge controversy and a lot of issues uh, from the trans man point of view, um, and you know, from from our side of the, in our community in the trans men community. I'm not sure if it's affecting trans women. I haven't heard anything mentioned. Um, I know it's even affecting butch lesbians because this woman is is stating that. Uh, all butch women feel this way. All butch lesbians feel this way uh, when the, that is not the case. Um, but uh, I know that's been going on, and I really I don't have anything to say to it other than I just ignore her. I don't, you know, I'm I'm not in it anyway. I'm not up on her page. I'm not up on her business. It's whatever. People are gonna hate. Haters are gonna hate. You know, and they're they're gonna say things and they're gonna do things and they want a reaction. And just don't give them one, you know? You, the more fuel you put on that fire, the longer it's going to burn. And, you know, why do that when you can just let it go and let it go out, you know? Um, in real life, I haven't really had a lot of experiences with haters, I guess. When I first came out, I wouldn't say it was hating. I had a lot of butch lesbians compare themselves to me and you know, think I'm just a butch lesbian and all this stuff, but my coming out was also, um, it was also kind of, I'm sorry, my back is so itchy, <laughs> um, but 
coming out, uh, for me, I was really like, one day I was a butch lesbian, and the next day I was like, hey, you know, I want to be called male pronouns, um, I want to be called Brent, so I'm planning on transitioning, so I'm sure it was a big surprise to a lot of people, and, um, that they said the things they said. Um, this is a spaghetti ladle. I don't use it for spaghetti, but it makes an excellent back scratcher. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, but uh, yeah, hating in the community. Um, I I mean I had this one guy at a party uh, back when I was about three months on T or whatever, and I I was kind of passing. Um, and you know he kept insisting that I was female and all this stuff and. It was this big issue. I, <laughs> I ended up. I was pretty drunk at the party, and I ended up saying, um, you know, oh, you know, you want to see my dick? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. I guess I didn't expect him to see. Yeah, because I was so frustrated with him, um, you know, calling me a female, and uh, and I ended up whipping out, <laughs> whipping out my packer, which was an STP from DJ Knows Dicks, if you're familiar, and it was a big one. It was like. The seven inch wide or something so um it was awkward i never saw him again but uh i was drunk and i guess it didn't matter at that point but that's how i handled that situation um i don't like i haven't really i've been lucky i haven't really experienced a lot of hate i'm at a much different place now uh being 17 months on t and just being where i'm at in transition uh mentally and emotionally and all that um where uh no, it doesn't really bother me. It wouldn't bother me if somebody were to hate on me now. Now, a couple months ago, I would handle it a lot different. But now I'm so comfortable. It's like it is what it is. Someone's always gonna have a problem with you, no matter what. Someone, if someone really is like that, they're going to have reason to have an issue, and they're gonna start something. So, um, you know, I just try to ignore it. I am aggressive by nature. I. I'm very a very proud individual, and I do want to like just you know stand up and fight. That's you know how I feel about stuff, but uh, but I don't, you know. I swallow my pride, and you know you can't be like that in every situation. Sometimes you it just takes a bigger man to walk away than uh, to put up his fist. I'm involved into an organization, so I got to think about that, you know, before I'm out there trying to fight or opening up my mouth and saying stuff I can't take back and constantly think about the effect my actions are going to have on my organizations and people in my life and all that and that keeps me in check so uh i don't know if this video was very helpful i feel like i rambled a lot um and uh you know basically the point is in conclusion uh haters are gonna hate don't add fuel to the fire it's what they want uh the best revenge is a silent revenge that's what i say just don't give them a reaction. Don't do anything, you know. Someone who's really trying to annoy you and wants to get a reaction out of you and you ignore them, that's the worst thing you can do because it just drives them insane. And that's how it is with haters. If you don't give them the reaction they want, they just they just move on. They'll just hate on somebody else because what's the point? You're not, you're not going to give it to them. So um, I hope that, uh, that there does, you know... As a community, in terms of hatred in the community, I do hope that we can work together and people can be more educated. Uh, I do feel that gender and sexuality have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Um, however, I do feel that there's power in numbers. Um, and even though the gay community and the trans community may not have too much in common, uh, especially with heterosexual transsexuals, but um, but what we do have in common is we're a community that is discriminated against both in the workplace and outside and misunderstood by a lot of the world. And we really need to unite and stand together instead of talk about each other and, um, you know, and just be hateful because, you know, being united in general, you know, united we stand, divided we fall. I'm going to get that tattooed on my arm as an armband. I stand true to that. Um, you're not going to get anywhere fighting with each other. you got to work together. So, all right, on that note, I'll uh, see you guys next Friday or Saturday. I got my hater blockers on. You got your hater blockers on. I got my hater blockers on. She got a hater blockers on. I got my hater blockers on. You got his hater blockers on. You got your